Hello again, ladies and gentlemen. This is the ninth episode of Nationalist China series, and well, I'm not gonna go into any more details, but let's continue. I just had to find the right balance for the music voice, and let's see here. So we already know that I already got like um the island of Okinawa. But I want to see how, like, I understand that the British, I can see that the British and the Americans are also landing on the Japanese islands here. But making, but me heading out, but me heading out to get, like, the Japanese main island is a bigger p mainland prize. Oh, dang. I want to see Europe for a while. Oh, shoot. They already captured Moscow, Leningrad. And the capital is temporarily removed to Stalingrad, really? <laughs> oh dang, Romania going out there. They're already like they're already gonna cut off some art Soviet armies around this area of the Caucasus. Seriously, Romania, you're like so overpowered. While Britain is just still there on the continent, and why did the Allies get Ireland in their faction for some reason? It's not like as if Germany has, like, a war goal against Ireland or something, but I know they do against Norway, Denmark, France, the Eastern European countries, as well with the SSRs, so I could so I could understand that, but this, yeah, nah, fam. But as long as I keep... But for as long as I'm keeping up the pressure against Japan... I might as well also build up my uh, paratrooper units. Ah, here we go. So while I'm still building up my influence, let's just hope I'm able to do it before the Chinese Democratic League takes form. here. I wonder which third... Oh, what, even the Axis now want to have non-negotiation packs with me? Well, if you can... Oh, well, if you can't beat them, join them. This will be nice. The United States wants to provide Grumman F4F Wildcats. Alright, Vichy France wants to... Hmm, the Hunan clique... Hmm. Even though I'm only at war with Tanatuva, which is a Soviet puppet, I'm not, I'm not gonna worry about that for now. So let's see, which other third location I could use as a good off base? Ah! Nah, that, that don't be good enough. Maybe I, you know, I could use the, I could use this area here as a good wing, so. Ace pilot, an ace pilot promoted. Who dares to win? Oh, good. Oh, dang, I have a lot of aces unassigned. Why didn't I even notice that? I better use, I better use them to my advantage. People know a winner when they see one, people. Alright. Now we can build support in Fujian. While our... This time I'm gonna make sure I do like an all-out kind of assault. Hmm. 
but that means I'll have to sacrifice at least three generals out of the um. Let's see. Okay, I may not need this guy. I may not. I may not need this guy anymore. So uh... I'll be disbanding that unit. Still need this guy for like the Sing Kang front, just to be safe. The Chinese mainland interior. Hmm. Okay, so that's one general. Let's see this one. Hmm. Unassigned selected units from this army. Actually. Oh, good, I have. Okay, since I'll have to unassign army units, I might as well try and do that. But I still want to make sure I protect my coast. Can't have a Japanese doing a sneak attack. Okay, land tax reforms have been completed. Oh, even hu oh, even Hungary wants a non-aggression pact with us. And Nederland too. That's fine. <clears throat> oh, it says here I need at least. Hmm. I need at least low inflation in order to do this stuff. Okay, we'll do the Refugee Relief Agency. With the upheaval of war, millions have been homeless, so we will recreate an agency to at least assist them in finding a new place. Or I'll try and do... Maybe I'll try to grain tax first. No, that, that makes me lose a lot of support. Okay, I'll do the unemployment assistance then. I'm not gonna bother. Oh, my old basic armored car. That's no longer feasible. Alright, let's see how my ships are doing. Wait. Huh, I'm building a really good formidable navy here. Let's... Let's merge some of the units together, shall we? Nice. Now we're heading on to the Days of Thunder. Hmm. Okay, I only have a limited provision in order to do this and pull this off, so... The Japanese home islands, this, that's one of the free commanders, so, uh... He'll actually act as a fourth buffer, so... Oh, they wanted to cancel their lend lease with us? Really? Really, UK? <clears throat> and you're still holding out against the Germans in 1942, while they're still on the verge of winning. I'm sorry, Britain, but... <laughs> Whoa! Wait! Since when did Vichy France also get involved? Okay, this is weird. I don't know how Vichy France even got involved, but like, at least the new ally, at least the pushing into the Vichy French colonies was sorely needed anyway. But uh, I can see that the British don't really stand a chance. Oh, oh shoot! <clears throat> I didn't even knew Iran even turned communist. From the Tudea party under Soliman Miraz Eskandaro. 
Oh, I did not even expect that. Well, it seems like well, it seems like Germany now has a longer front to try to control all the way down to Iran. <laughs> that is, if they can puppet them. And while I do appreciate British Raj going up to Sing Kang, I do want to make sure I also get my grubby hands on them first. But I want to see how uh, how they'll handle the war effort. And what better way than to do so than if I just try striking at the capital of, J of Japan to end the war quicker for us. Let's see, Shanghai... oh wait. I should do the one over by here. The plane is there, the plane is there, Shanghai is there... Mm-hmm, things will be going swimmingly. Oh, I need a tactical bomber? Alright. Tactical, tactical bomber, tactical bomber. Ah, right, here we go. Ah, there we go. We finally decrypted Japan. We finally decrypted Japan's ciphers, and now we now we'll get the what upper hand. General Zhang Ma. What? Okay, don't tell me that another Reichskommissariat was made. Yep, I stand corrected. Another Reichskommissar was made. Reichskommissar Ostland under Heinrich Losch, Heinrich Losse, and Eric Koch. That's just great. Alright, now this one will be under the command of... Hugh Zong Man. Really? Alright, now we're gonna do it a direct. So technically, we'll be doing all a direct assault on the capital. We're basically going all out on this one with four prong attacks. Oh darn it. Okay, maybe two different prong attacks, so uh Okay, so two attacks in Tokyo and two in Osaka. That'll that'll do for me. Oh. And I'll put them under the command of one man. Let's see who will be a good fit. Ah, Field Marshal Zhang Zulang. He'll be a good fit for this. Yep, a good man fit. Charismatic offensive doctrine. Mm -hmm. Oh wait, what's this? Oh, Bulgaria and Ostland want to also sign up. Oh. I'm still winning these air, ba air battles like it's no one's business. Like, <laughs> the Japanese are, have really got nothing on me. Oh, it seems like the Romanians have been pushed back a bit, so uh, with the help of Iran, I don't think they're going to last long. Hmm. You know what would have been a really weird troll moment if I actually supported... Okay, let's see. Alright, the intel has been revealed. Hmm, really? Like there's no troops in the north in the south, but there's more in the north. Okay. Oh, 
All right. How could a Japanese vet be that well defended? Okay, it seems like Japan really knows how to tough really knows how to tough things out like cookies. So I'm gonna need to make sure I have a better plan. There we go. This time I'll have a I'll have a force of about 81 paratrooper units. I know it basically feels like as if I'm going all out by this point, but eh. I really don't even care. Another ace pilot. Uh, okay, division designer. Actually, let's create a new paratrooper unit. Really, I can't... Okay, then let's try to... Let's see... If I can't try from somewhere around Japan, maybe I could try somewhere up north. Like, further away from all the action. Okay, at least that works. Let's see. 
cancel this army. I want to see if they can try and even reach from here to there. Really? What do you mean? If I, if I take that Japanese port, I could get a chance of getting soldiers over there. So that means I could be able to strike up a win. What? Oh, resistance in Okinawa? Yeah, that's fine. Naval assault plane. Oh, that was for the small thing. Come on, come on, my whole plan hinges on the fact that if I take Northern if I take that northern port of Japan, I could be able to strike up a good win. I can see that I'm making good progress here too as well. Although some of the southern troops already left. I'm also making sure I also hinge on the fact that I also need this group there too. Or as a matter of fact... Report from Fujian. All right, finally, I have a, I have a better, I have a bigger army now. Okay, let's see. Zangma. Japanese mainland. Alright, now let's get down to business. Since now I have 60, 63 infantry paratroopers in this unit. I have two strong foot footholds now, so at least does not have any deployment ready to deploy. Okay. Oh, nice! Army regrouping or army specialists? A good officer core role. And this one? Oh, an army entrenchment specialist. Head straight up and then that way. It's a lot easier. Come on, come on, I know I can do this.
Hathia Sunshine Fang shot down. Oh, dang. Woohoo! I'm actually winning in this frame, but I'm not sure how long this frame will hold. Unf okay, I'm gonna unassign that general. I hope this one will last long, because, like... That's right, I'm still putting pressure on Japan. I am not gonna stop putting out the pressure. All right. All right. Now we're gaining. We're gonna. Okay. We still have our holdout there, but I'm not sure about like how this is gonna help with. Uh... Pilot Ace promoted. Alright, now let's do the Reform National Bank. A new national bank will be... Okay, effectively replace low inflation with a stable economy. Alright. Oh. I know I may be stupid for doing this, but... But if, but if I build a port around the area that I control, at least I can get a fighting chance. I guess maybe having a total of 64 paratroopers was a good idea after all. And yes, I know, trying to, like, at least throw, throw the paratroopers at the enemy isn't really a smart move or a smart idea, but hey. I'm almost at the end of my rope here. Resistance in targeted territories. That's right, Siam, you don't really want to mess with me. And I don't know why you're trying to become fascist. Under the can the Kana Ras Ratsadon. I do apologize if I botched that. Oh dang, I didn't realize my manpower really rose to 12.79 million people. And Germany is still pushing like no tomorrow, as well as Romania. Increase, increase that priority. Guangdong. Tuhoku. All right. Oh, these won't be completed until October the 31st of 1942. So, uh, I think I... So I think as long as I hold out good, I might have a chance. 64, my 64 division troops, and they're still good. Non-combat skill, out of supply penalties, maximum general army size, aura. Yeah, I know, it's kind of a buzz kill that I'm basically sending them to their doom, but what else can I try? I'm basically almost at the end of my tightrope here. Okay, let's see 
here. Let's see. Mm hmm. I'm gonna be sending a strike force. Ah, here we go. Oh yeah, I can't send them there because, uh, hmm. it's due to the range, so let's see if I can send them over. Oh good, I can actually send my submarines over to... Alright, let's send my... Strike force over here. Wait a minute, and where's that port? Cannot transport to a non-naval base location. Okay, maybe I could send a paratrooper division over by there. Not like I have a choice. do this quick because I'm starting to lose my patience. No division, zero trick. Why is it telling me this? Like, what? Good. Oh, come on. I can't believe it, but Japan is like a mad iron fortress. You 
you know what? Maybe it would have been just easier to just randomly cut my losses. You know what? Nah. Maybe, instead, I might as well just, uh... Aw, oh, man, you gotta be kidding me. My army got decimated again? This is getting ridiculous. Offer them peace. The war score is favored for the other side must be at least 50%. We are currently at 20. You know what? Sc you know what? Screw of it. You know what? Screw of this. I want this war to end already. You may have noticed I did a sneaky tactic, but that was because I just didn't really care about this. I just want this war to be over and done with. Like, come on, it's not- I mean, I understand, like, I like this war and all, but... Alright, finally, now we can deliver the knockout blow we needed. Fall of Tokyo. And if I successfully take that port, I could be able to send troops over, which I'm going to be doing right after. Japanese mainland. And, si and since Alexander von Falkhausen's troops are the more experienced... Mm -hmm. 
passing through Shiz Shizu Shizuoka and Nago Nagoya, Japan. Alright, British Raj, I think you had enough of my lend lease materials. There we go. Grumman F4 F4F Wildcats. FDR, you you're just literally sending me the same thing I wanted over and over. Osaka, Japan. Let's speed things up a bit. All right, never mind. They're already heading over to the uh, to the front now. So once they land, it'll be a glorious battle. Op chi chi the China's ver China's version of the U.S. Operation Downfall of Japan. And the experience Wang Wang Tian, or nicknamed the Easy Kill, shot down the devil. Aw oh, man, he's been shot down? That's sad. And since the war is almost coming over to a close. Better stop all the better stop all of this stuff here. Better stop. Yep, gonna stop all the bombs. Stop all the bombings. Stopping all the bombings, but I'm not gonna stop doing it to the Japanese home islands. Besides, why should why should I when all the other feeders are actually safe? Yeah, I'm not gonna worry about that anytime soon, but but up next I might as well crush the Soviets. Who knows? Might as well, I might as well want to reclaim all of Mongolia and Tanatuva, but I'll put them as puppets. Mon a Mongolian puppet state and a Sinkang puppet state. Or just occupy it, who cares? Mm -hmm. I was gonna count on that to happen, so... Reform the National Bank. Okay, let's see here. Force loans. Has national spirit, low inflation. Really? Okay. Now we'll do the Refugee Relief Agency, because I'm not going to be doing this again. Support in Nanning. Ace pilot promoted. Who dares win? Mm-hmm. Japan had just relocated its capital to... Oh my god. Er... UK, what are you doing? Now you're gonna have Iraq go into the Axis camp. Oh wait, no. This is more of an individual the Iran... the Iraqi British war. But I don't think... Ooh, boy. <laughs> yeah, Britain, you're kind of really bombing yourself over. I don't know why, but... Oh, why does Vichy France look divided like that? I mean, I understand that the United Kingdom got former French West Africa colonies, but, like, come on. That is just 
disgusting. Okay, let's see. I have until October, the 20th of October, 1943. Wait a minute, the fall of Rome? Where? What happened? Oh no, the British just did a landing at Ro in Rome. It seems like Italy will be the first ever Axis power to fall to the Allies. <laughs> And Norway is still alive, which is even a miracle, which I'm not even going to get into. The bombing, the bu the, 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 the bombing of buildings will stop. Those foes will stop. Okay, maybe we do. Okay, maybe we do need like a. Fine. Okay, maybe we do need like one or two of those fighters. <laughs> finally, the Japanese have finally laid down their arms. Let's see. I shall occupy the King High Clique. And since I did most of the fighting, I shall puppet Vietnam. Oh, and puppet. Oh yeah, and puppet Japan too. Because they need to learn a lesson. Let's see, taking high puppet. Occupy territories, return South Sakhalin to the Shogun government. Really? Really? So you mean I can't? Oh well. Alright. And now because of that, it seems my Chinese United Front now grows with the addition of Vietnam and a puppeted Japan. Under Hiroshi Hondro, the Japanese Shogunate, and Ah, yes. A provisional capital in Chongqing. After the Japanese conquest of Nanking, even though it's 1943 and we already won, move capital to Sichuan. Oh well. Oh well, I mean, at least I'm able to actually temporarily move my capital anyway. So, uh, that's an added bonus. <laughs> And I even inherit a lot of extra troops. Which is also a good added bonus. Yep, this is gonna be good. Mm -hmm. 
Technically. Oh yeah, I'm technically still at war with uh Huh. Why didn't I even notice? Okay. Not sure if I can really be able to stand to take out, stand against the Soviets, but there's there's no reason to try if you can't. As they say. <laughs> and since the Soviets are actually losing, I could get use this as an opportunity, but that'll have to wait for next time, as they say. So anyway, peep my fellow peeps, this is where I'm going to have to end the show for now. As you may have noticed, I was able to defeat Japan, but also, but also like Japan was still able to keep one of its territories, which was Guangzhou, which is still supposed to be a part of my country, but that doesn't matter. I'm going to fix that in the next 10th episode, and who knows? Maybe the finale will deal with me taking over Sing Kang and getting a huge deal out of it. Anyway, I hope you fellas love this episode, and I'll see you ladies, ladies and gents again next time.